another article I checked out, which is on mindbodygreen.com that gives you the steps to discover and heal those latent attachment issues. The article states, your attachment style was formed based on your experience with early caregiving relationships. Jeannie, that book I told you about. Yes. Although they may have a point, some may feel that being clingy isn't necessarily a bad thing. Ladies, I'd like to hear from you. When it comes to your significant other, what are some telltale signs of a person's being too clingy or even if you find yourself being too clingy? I, oof, I've never considered myself a clingy person. In fact, I pride myself on not needing another person, which is why my dating habits, I feel like, were healthy. Even, like, marriage, I felt like we're married, but I'm still my own individual. Yes. Until I got pregnant. Mm. And now, this second trimester, I, 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 you guys, I'm almost like, am I, being, am I losing my mind because I need to be told all the time? I'm like, do you love me? How much oh. do you love me? Oh. Yeah. Why do you love me? Tell me why I'm the bomb. Why did you choose me? Oh. Like, I need, yeah, you need this affirmation. So sweet. Is it sweet, though, or well, is it it's annoying? It's sweet in a way because it's, it's, it's not the norm for you, so right. therefore that's sweet for him, okay. I would think, right? And it's he, a phase that you're in right yeah, now. Yeah, it's, it's just a phase. Again, yes. hormones and yeah. those kinds of things. I think when you're in love with somebody and they're carrying your child, yeah. you're like, tell me how I can serve you. Yes. If it's affirmations, if it's a foot rub, yes. I can see him just being like, I can tell you all day long why you're an amazing yes, woman. Yes. And you deserve that. And, and give actually, yourself I learned... some grace. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Give yeah. yourself you've been, you've been tough and stoic for a long time. Yeah. Jeannie is definitely super independent. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes, it's some can even yeah. say to a fault, you even yes. said it. Yes, yes. So to see you in this more submissive, needy mm -hmm. place, mm -hmm. it can be really beautiful and actually bring great balance to your life and I your like love. I like the attention. Yeah. I do. I like the atten extra yeah. attention. I might even, like I learned seeing him, it makes him feel good to tell me. Mm -hmm. Those yes, things. Like, he wants I, to be needed. Yes. Right. yes. Yeah. That part right. I like. Like and she that, needs my love. Right, yeah. and that's gonna be the balance when the baby's here because it's gonna be about the baby. And so you have to yes. remember him as yeah. a man and as your, you know, your mate. Yes. Not give it all to the baby. Save that's a little right. bit for, for him and for you. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah that's you know? so true. Don't let that take yeah. your attention. You know I what know. I, mean? I don't, I'm not clingy at all. I mean. At all? No. Nah. James and I, we could, but this is the, this is the thing. We can be in separate rooms and, but we need to know that we're in separate rooms. You know what I mean? How? Why? Like, mm -hmm. Like, you like to be together. You like to be separate knowing he's right over there. Exactly. Uh, I know that feeling. I know that feeling. Like, I want my alone time, mm. but I like knowing that Iz is downstairs, and if I needed something, yes. he could right. be there. It's it's um, it's um a comforting feeling. It's a security feeling. Mm -hmm. I yeah. totally get that. The book I am I told Jeannie to read yeah. is this book that I've actually read about parenting. She's deep in it, guys. Guys, it's very I'm serious. I'm on the treadmill. I'm on the <laughs> treadmill with my Kindle, and it's about how children in the first three years of their life really need to be shown love and affection, and that's when they de develop their emotional um, intelligence, so yes. to speak. And they actually say that children that are loved and held and taken care of actually become more independent because they have that security that tells them, I know I'm loved. Yeah. I know. Versus there's parents that say, I don't want to pick my baby up when it's crying. Well, I was just about to say that. My pediatrician said you can't spoil a baby. Eesh. Right. Because this they need the opposite. The, right. They, you need, they need the love. They need the attention. So don't feel like because he's crying, you don't want to spoil him. Like, it's okay because... Babies don't have the emotional intelligence to at understand. a few <laughs> months old. That. If they're crying, yeah. it's because they have a need. But and, also yeah. understand when you are being, you know, it's like, understand the signals if you're being too clingy. Yes. Because right. yeah. you can run a person off. Like, or you yes. can make a child too dependent on you. Exactly. Yeah. Right. But I, wait, I want to go back to you for a second, for a second. Uh. So let's say you and James are sleeping in bed mm -hmm. and you know he's there. Do you even like take one toe and like, like just yes, she does. lay it to touch him or like, like his hand, like touch his hand? Do you need a little contact to feel like, oh, he's got me. You know what? I really don't need that because he tosses really? and turns so much. Oh, I know he's there. Yeah, there you go. But you know he's there. I know he's there. The way he talks in his sleep, I know what? he's there. Okay. Oh my god. He's having all kind of dreams and singing and I, just. You know he's there. Yeah, he there. He there. Garcelle, have you ever been clingy, but it came from fear? The, and um, the only time I've ever felt like I was clingy was because I felt like I had to be helicopter on this person because I feared that they would cheat on me. 
Mm. No, I, I don't think I'm clingy, but I've had men that have been clingy to me, Ooh. and I realize I don't like that. Because you famous. Give me an example. Tell. <laughs> Give me an example of clingy from um, a man. Okay, like a guy calling me constantly throughout the day, yeah, right? I don't like that or either. if he doesn't get me on on a phone call, he'll send me an email, and if I don't get the email, he'll send me a text. Oh, and, well, yeah. all right. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Persistent. Okay. Yes. I got you. Okay. Yeah, I get what you mean. That actually is, is that's needy and dependent. That's needy and dependent. Because and I think he also was like, oh my God, I can't believe. Yes. So then he uh, had to kind okay. of reaffirm, Guys, you know? what about your girlfriends that say you invite to out to dinner or yeah. maybe a weekend's girls trip or something and every answer is like, I gotta check with my man or oh. my man's gonna be home alone oh. or that's... like this, you know, always just their first Answer is not what they want. It's whether or not the man is letting them do it or if he's gonna be okay without them. And Ugh. sometimes I get mad. Like if I go on a girl's trip and they're like, I gotta go check in with, I'm like, yeah. girl, bye. Yes, right. yes. Right. Yeah. I'm not, yeah. I don't wanna leave my man That's at rough. home and go have fun without him as if like, I wanna make sure he's doing something too. Like right. I get being considerate, but right. I want to make sure that he knows and will be happy for me to go and spend time with exactly. my Yes, absolutely. Right. I, I think That's there's something healthy. really dope yeah. about a man who loves an independent woman.